In this video, I will share a vlog of one of the most dramatic days we had this summer. It starts with a scenic drive, then has the heartbreak and agony of losing our drone, then has a posh, extravagant dinner at an epic country manor house, and then finishes with a visit to a North Yorkshire city with Downton Abbey vibes. June 12th was the day we left the Scottish borders and drove to our hotel in Leeds. As we were leaving Scotland, on a picturesque drive through a lush green valley, we saw this lovely reservoir and decided Ian should take some drone photography over it. So Ian flew the drone and I talked to some sheep because in case you just met me, I like talking to animals. Hello there, my sheepish friend. This sheep was very curious about me. It stood on the other side of the road, just staring at me and chewing. I didn't walk any closer because I didn't want to startle it. This is what Ian looked like as we frantically searched for a couple hours in the fields for his missing drone. To hear the details of how he lost the drone and what to do to avoid such a disaster happening to you, please see the We Lost Our Drone video, which I will link above and below. Oh no, look, our hotel has flooded. Just kidding. This is a little wooden decoration in the middle of a stream on the Grantley Hall property. What a peaceful place. Just acres of streams and bridges and artwork. The grounds at Grantley Hall were vast. And we had fun exploring them a bit before and after our dinner. Before heading in to the restaurant to have dinner, we had to admire the fancy cars. There were fancy cars lined up in front of Grantley Hall, and there was this Formula One racing car in the lawn near the annex where our restaurant was located. And then there were fancy cars in the car park where we left our humble little rental car. There was this Bentley, and this car reminded me of the movie The Graduate as it resembles the Alfa Romeo spider that Dustin Hoffman drove in that movie. Let me show you the posh decor in this restaurant. It really was a lovely atmosphere. The food was Asian-inspired cuisine, and everything was delicious. Here is a review of what we ate. To start, pork belly bao. Then, Korean fried cauliflower with garlic aioli. I think this was my favorite thing we ordered. The Robata Vegetable Garden had really unique textures and flavors as the vegetables were complemented with the tofu cream, crispy quinoa, chive oil, and truffle. And another healthy dish, Asian greens, silken tofu, and rice cake stir fry. Ian thought we didn't need dessert after all that, but of course I insisted, and the grilled pineapple with coconut sorbet was exquisite. The fictional Downton Abbey is set in Yorkshire, and the characters often reference local towns and cities such as Ripon. But Highclere Castle, which is where most of the Downton Abbey house is filmed, is actually located in Hampshire. But because Ripon was right nearby Grantley Hall, we stopped there after dinner to have a little look around the city. 
Though Ripon is a very old city with a rich history back to the Viking and Norman times, it is currently the third smallest city in all of England. Ripon was the first Church of England diocese to be created after the English Reformation. The Ripon Cathedral has been a place of worship since 672, which is truly amazing. Of course, after my quick little stop in Ripon, I would like to come back another time and get a chance to look around inside the cathedral. Ripon has a couple things in common with Cheltenham, my home away from home. It used to be a spa town, and it is known for its race course. I love standing in the middle of the city and looking around the market square, which was full of lovely buildings and very well kept. Ripon actually had the last English spa to be opened. The Ripon Baths were built in 1904 to celebrate the 300th anniversary of Ripon's charter in 1604. Now the building is over 110 years old and is one of the most unique and interesting buildings in Ripon. Speaking of buildings I had to photograph, I asked Ian to pull over so I could hop out and snap a photo of this garage. You might think it's odd that I was excited about a car parts shop, but it made me think of the Yorkshire garage that Branson and Lady Mary's husband started on Downton Abbey. I know it's not the same building and doesn't even really look like it, but oh well, it's the thought that counts. I hope you enjoyed our little vlog of our very eventful day in Yorkshire. Stay tuned for the next two videos, which will feature other gorgeous towns in Yorkshire, Harrogate and Knaresborough. They should be very good because I have some lovely content waiting to be edited. Thanks so much for watching and do something good in the world today.